thank you Dr. Gill for giving us a new, new perspective on education system. Up next we have Dr. Reshan Rath, retired principal from Bharti Vidya Field Institute of Technology. Please welcome him with a round of, round of applause. आप सभी नू सत श्रीकाल बलजीत सिंह ने जो प्रोग्राम रखा है चेंज द हार्ड फॉर चेंज द हार्ड रोल मी द हार्ड शेयर की द हार्ड परमजीत सिंह ऑफ इंटरनेशनल डिपार्टमेंट उन्होंने भी किया कि आईएएस ऑफिसर्स जो है नहीं मिल रहे कोई भी नहीं है। I will say like this: most of the people fail because of not because of the lack of ability or intelligence, but they fail because of the desire, direction, dedication, and discipline. So I will try to have discipline and. For discipline, I will correlate with the subject as a attitude. I am Dr. Rishan Lal. I have not introduced myself. I have served in Indian Navy for 15 and a half years. Then I have worked as a principal in Bharti Vidya Pilot Technology and Engineering College, Pharmacy College, Hotel Management Colleges for 30 years. It is said that People had better attitude if they had the better attitude and will have the better team players. But it is, it will cut the waste, improve loyalty, make their company a good place to work if the people are of better attitude. William James of Harvard University said the greatest dis discovery of his generation that human beings can alter their lives by altering the attitude. He can change. Somewhere it is written it is very difficult to change. That also I will try to cover up if it is possible. There was a man who was selling the balloons in a fair. When the business goes slow, he is used to fill up with the helium gas and leave one balloon in the air. He was having all color of balloons, red, yellow, blue and white, including other colors also. So he was in this process daily, but one day, one little boy at the rear turned his jacket and he turned around and saw that there is a little boy. Yes, what do you want? Uncle, can the black balloon also go in the air? He said, he replied, no. Rita, it is not the color which makes it to go up. There is something inside which which makes to go up and up. That is the attitude. And same thing is with us also, that when your attitude is positive, you are having the, you will get the success. And this attitude is the foundation for the success. Attitude. A double T I T U D E attitude. You take their values from the alphabetic place. A stands on the first place. T stands on the second, twentieth place. Again, T on the twentieth. I on the ninth. T again twenty. U twenty first. D at the fourth place and E is the five. I will say it is a hundred. If you are having the 100% positive attitude, 
you are going to have the 100% result in your mission. If it is 85%, you will get the result 85. If it is a 40, 40. If it is a 30, it is a pass class. If it is less than that, you are going to fail. When you are having a positive attitude, what happens in your body? Immediately, when you say yes for anything, never say no to anything, be positive for everything, try to make it. Try to use the yes word in place of no. Negative. No. The best chemicals are produced here and the signal is given. The body chemistry changes. All the muscles are tightened and you are able to do the job very strongly. But when you say negative, no, I cannot do it, then the bad chemicals are produced, the signal is given to the small brain and all the nerve system, your muscles becomes weakened and you are not able to do that job. It has been tried, I have also seen it, that very young and enthusiastic person was there, having good health, he was asked, can you lift all these stones and put it at so and so distance? He said, no sir. I cannot do it. He was not able to do it because all the muscles become loose. But very thin chair was there. It is as a punishment. Don't take it as a punishment. Can you do it? He said, yes, I can do it. The moment he said yes, all the muscles were tightened and ready to work. And he could do it. <laughs> there is a tower in the Canada, that is in Calgary known as, it is 190.8 meters long, it stands on that. The total weight of this one is 10,884 tons and of which 6349 ton is below the ground, it is under the ground which says that the great buildings are also having the strong foundations. So in the case of success also, your foundation also should be very successful, very strong. Now the education without knowledge, without common sense is having no meaning. Common sense is the ability to see the things as they are and do what the, the way it wanted to be done. So we are not born with the senses. We are having the five senses. We are born with the five senses and touch, taste, sight, smell and hearing. But the successful people are having the sixth sense also, which is known as a common sense. For this example, I will give, sharpen your axe daily or whenever it is required. There was a good woodcutter, Mr. John, he was working in the company and he used to cut daily certain number of trees daily and it was going on for the last many years. He was not able to increase anything. Then they employed a Mr. Good, Mr. Will, who was having the brain, common sense, and he has produced more number of trees. He has cut more number of trees than him. And he was given the appraisal. He was raised by some salary the after one year. Then Mr. John said, he went to the boss, that why I am not given the raise, I am working for the last five years. He said, I do not know 
you will ask Mr. Bill Pimak in the answer for this. He again put more efforts and could not cut more trees, but he was making very good. Again, he had been there. He said that I am putting a lot of, a lot of efforts, but I have done very sincerely. So I have not given the appraisal. So he said, you go again and ask him. He happened to him. He said, when did you sharpen your axe last time? He said, I have never sharpened my axe. Well, the, I sit after every tree when I cut it and sharpen my axe. So that is the result that if you sharpen, have a common sense, you will be having more success. I mean. I'll take a discipline in between. Discipline also. Discipline is everything by talking, talking, eating. Sleeping, sleeping also is a very uh, important that such has been made that two hours before midnight if you sleep and take rest, it is equivalent to two hours rest after a four hours rest after the midnight. So there should be discipline for sleeping also. So D I S C I P L I N E. Now this also you take it, that is D is at the fourth place, I is at the ninth, S is on the nineteenth, C and so on, and you have already calculated. So if you are disciplined 100%, the 100% result has going to be there. If the students are daily studying all the subjects, 15-15 minutes, just revising whatever the lecture is given in the classroom, and he repeat that one, he will be a disciplined person and have less food in the night, study daily, walk, talk properly, do not abuse, do not smoke, all these things are in the discipline. So discipline also is very important in the life because if you are not disciplined, you are not punctual, you are not will power your enemy, you are going to be fed. Discipline means punctuality also comes in that. Spouse, spouse, the target is started from Kuchi and coming to Bombay, going to fire, and you are having the gun at Alvara Airport in Punjab, for example. So, you have to calculate what time will be taken by the shell to reach to the target when the target starts from the Kuchi. How many of Pakistan are anywhere? So if this is not done properly and you do not push the button in time that calculates traveling time in the air and the target airplane is going to be reach at Bombay at so and so time and your shell is going to reach at by so and so time and will collapse and the target is not going to achieve your goal. So it is very important to have the punctuality, discipline, One more topic I will say, I will put the question from this for myself. When we know, we are aware of that, that we are having a negativity, in this why don't we change? It is very difficult to change, but you can alter. Human nature is generally to resist the change. Change is uncomfortable. Allow Regardless of the positive or negative effect, change can be stressful. Sometimes we get so comfortable with the negative attitude that we don't want to accept the negativity. We don't want to accept the uh, comfortability, comfortable atmosphere. So Charles Dinkin has mentioned, he has written, he wrote about a prisoner who stayed for many years in the Gangan. I mean it is an underground dark room. After completing his uh, sentence, he was made free. He was brought to the bright light when he came out from the cell. 
He was brought to the open world. The man looked all around and after few seconds he was feeling so uncomfortable that he wanted that I must be taken to the same place where I have come. So this is about the change. But the attitude can make the changes of your life. Okay, I will close right now. Thank you very much. ਕੋਸ਼ਚਨ <laughs> Yes. Then they will not Because if you are drinking, you are not doing uh, justice with that. I mean, so he also will learn the same thing. Sir, after listening to this nice talk about the positive attitude that it is 100 percent, of course we all agree to it. Uh, my own personal feeling I wish to express that when we talk about making them discipline a child uh, well aware of what is happening around and how I have to be disciplined in my life, I believe uh, if we give a chance to a child to speak about 10 different children sitting around, he or she will be able to speak a lot. But the moment you ask a child, I believe not a small child, even a graduate, like we interview teachers in the panel, we ask them to speak about yourself. They may not be able, many of them may not be able to say two to three minutes long speech even about their own self. Where I come, want to come that we should teach children about self-awareness. We know a lot about other people with whom we are living, but our own self is neglected. What I feel is that one should be aware about the positives and negatives within our own self. We should teach in the schools how we can explore our own personality, what is good in me, where I am good at. I should promote those values, those strengths, those strong points, those uh, innate qualities so that I can achieve success in my life. If I am not a good rabbit, the producer, good writer, but if I am good at lead, of course I can. So I feel every child should be taught in the school that how to be self-aware. This is a subject very big about the attitude yes, yes, yes. and yes, you are you lot of time will be taken to explain all these things. You have to model at home or your child. Yes. And I'm doing sir personally I'm doing it my support of the teachers. After two years, those who are the confirmed ones. Una bolo me swat karwadiya, swat the full I'm giving you that is strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So they are giving themselves about what ma'am is telling. So this we can do it with our children also. Yes, yes. Let them be. Or if such bolo the other, apne aap pajayegi una bolo. They will speak truth. Or not only una the moral values we jiriye no wo enhance. And I think this is the best way that the child or anybody can give.